All right, guys, so this question reads, which of the following would be the most likely findings on imaging? <clears throat> now, it reads, a 28-year-old male diagnosed with schizophrenia is scheduled for an MRI, which of the following would be the most likely findings on imaging? Is it A, decreased left ventricular volume? Is it B, decreased right ventricular volume? Is it C, enlarged frontal lobe? Is it D, increased left temporal volume? Or is it <clears throat> E, decreased whole brain volume? Now, you just got to have some familiarity with this, okay? You don't have to, to go in uh, strong depth, but you got to understand that with imaging, sometimes in uh, the mental health, you can have some, some traits. Now, they don't say this drives treatment, uh, but for step one, step two, uh, even step three, you got to have some understanding of this. And where I got this from, there was a, uh, a reference article from 2018, uh, Clinical Neuroscience, just so you know. And that actually, and that, <clears throat> that stemmed from a 1976 study in, that was uh, put out in Lancet that basically said ventricular enlargement associated with, for the most part, we're going to say chronic schizophrenia, okay? That's where it all kind of stemmed from. So... <clears throat> On your step exams, if they're going to ask you a question about anything in this topic, they're going to hit you on schizophrenia. Why? And this is just my opinion. Why? Because basically that's where it all stemmed from. That's the most, say, I'm going to say well-researched, but that's the one where they can have the consistent findings. And it was the first one that started it all. So let's just quickly review what you might find on the other ones, okay? Just the big, the big stuff. In mental health, you have Alzheimer's, <clears throat> bipolar, major depressive disorder, schizophrenia, and uh, post-stroke uh, depression, okay? These are your big players, okay? If you know these, you'll, you'll be right where you need to be. So with Alzheimer's, you're going to have brain-wide, they mean to think about this, right? Brain-wide atrophy. Um, now, the thing about Alzheimer's compared to everything else is they have pretty much established, they, you know, like a neuropathology, right? They know kind of what it looks like early on in the stages, et cetera, et cetera, before the, before the symptoms actually arise. Uh, so that one makes this one a little bit easier. But brain-wide atrophy, and you can have decreased hippocampal, and we know that, hippocampus, think, you're thinking memory, hippocampal volume. So right now we know Alzheimer's, brain-wide atrophy, decreased uh, hippocampal volume. With bipolar, one of the biggest pieces that I took out of there was left temporal uh, lobe, okay? Increased left and temporal lobe volume. Now, there's some other stuff. You know, they started getting into cingulate, you know, all these really, I don't say obscure pieces of the brain because everything's important, don't get me wrong. But when we're talking these exams, we just can't go that to that level. We need to, we need to kind of stay where it's reasonable. So for bipolar, you're going to think increased left temporal uh, lobe, Okay. For a major depressive disorder, we're going to say there's a decrease in gray matter volume, okay? Remember, Alzheimer's was decreased brain-wide atrophy. Major depression is just the decrease in the gray matter volume, more specifically, frontotemporal lobe. And if you have, you know, and, and I saw this on YouTube somewhere, if you, have, if you need to understand the difference between white matter versus gray matter, think of it like your hand, right? This side's a little bit more whiter, this side's a little, a little darker. And so if you crunched it like this, that's that's essentially your brain. You know, it's on the inside, that the, the reptilian brain, you know, the old brain, it's going to be the white matter, and then the, the outer portion is going to be the uh, gray matter, a little bit darker. But for major depression, you're going to see frontotemporal lobe. Okay, now for schizophrenia, you, you are going to have a decrease in whole brain uh, volume. Okay, decrease in whole. Now that, but that might give the illusion of what? So if the whole brain volume is smaller, what's going? What are those ventricle, ventricles going to look like? Well, if the whole brain is smaller, those ventricles, ventricles are going to look like they are bigger. So we're going to have a increase ventricular volume. This is the one, guys, I'm telling you, this is the one I want you to focus in on. Schizophrenia, decrease whole brain volume, increase ventricular volume. It, may, it makes kind of sense. And then for post-stroke, I found this in the article too, post-stroke depression, think left frontal lobe lesion. You know, if you have a stroke, uh, left frontal lobe, that's where the lesion's at. 
typically are at high risk for post-stroke post depression. They found that a lot of other places in the brain just lead to uh, more like psychosis. But for post-stroke depression, left ventral. So real quick, Alzheimer's, brain-wide atrophy, decreased hippocampal volume. Makes sense. Bipolar, left increase in left temporal lobe. Okay. Major depression, decreased gray matter volume. Uh, more specifically, frontotemporal lobe. Schizophrenia, decreased whole brain volume, increased, le increased ventricular volume, and post-stroke depression, left frontoral lobe lesion. Now, back to this question. Okay. It's going to read, 28-year-old male diagnosed with schizophrenia, scheduled for an MRI, which the following most be likely. So you got schizophrenia. Is it A, decreased left ventricular volume? No, nothing's decreased in this stuff, right? If it said increased, it might be more excited, but decreased right and left, those are just distractors. It should be increased ventricular volume. Is there enlarged frontal lobe? No, because there's nothing in here that has enlarged frontal lobe. Now, if it had decreased frontal lobe, decreased, say, frontal lobe, frontal or frontal temporal, I might be thinking major depression, but in this case, it says enlarged. It doesn't even go with anything. Okay, is it D, increased left temporal lobe volume, increased left temporal lobe volume, it's going to be more bipolar, okay? Is it E, decreased whole brain volume, decreased whole brain volume, answer choice is E. Remember, schizophrenia, decreased whole brain volume, or increased ventricular volume. Okay, guys, you got to have a basic understanding of that going into your exams. Hope it was helpful.